Hola, hola. This is Ayana Mojica, Wisdom Medicine Woman, broadcasting from Oaxaca, Mexico. I'm going to just start tagging people to encourage you. So, I've got an important message. Tagging. Who's there? Please um, check in. This is really, 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 really important. I want to make sure I get it out. Please share. There's some stuff going down. Let's see if I can get people on here. Last minute, but that's okay. It's all inspired by the I am that I am. Okay. I tagged a few, if you can share with a few of your friends and then pass it on. Appreciate it. It's um, afternoon here in Oaxaca, Mexico. It's absolutely beautiful. Still love it. Still love it. Still love it. Still love it. Still love, 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 love where I'm at. When you're in your, when you're in your just right place, when you're in the place where spirit has sent you, where your ancestors have sent you, not just the place that's like, ah, oh, you know, oh, this is nice, this is comfortable, but I mean, when you are sent, no one can move you. So I just want to share this to you. Hey, Stu, it's good to see you. I know you're in Costa Rica. Good to see you prospering and, and advancing. So here it is. I just want to share this real quick because um, my heart was grieved. Hi, Arlene Cahet. Can you share with others, please? My title, yes, Pura Vida in Costa Rica. How wonderful. Sounds like you found your spot. <laughs> Listen, I just got... I just got a text from a very pure soul. I mean, humble and pure uh, spiritual person who is very profound and deep and who brings their wisdom and uh, they're not from the US, they're from a different country, and they traveled to, by the grace of God, and with the Haiko Ola Rebecca, by the grace of God, they felt called to travel to another place, another total different country, to bring their wisdom and to bring their healing. And now this is a person that has been sequestered, a person who, very innocent, but in their innocence, in their sequestering, in their, their being hidden away, they developed very, very pure, uh, powerful gifts of healing and the purity of the teachings. And they were so excited because it was a dream they had for a long time. And their dream came to pass to a different people. And everything was going well until all of a sudden a group of people from where they were sent just railed against them, just saying the most nastiest things 
possible online, on social media. And they were so disturbed by this that they sent me a message saying, you know, they, they really, these people really don't want the, I'm kind of getting emotional about it. They don't want the teachings. They don't respect the teachings. They don't respect the medicine. And the medicine comes in different forms. And they said, I will never come back again. I will go back to my country and anyone who wants to receive what I have, they can come there. Now, I've been through stuff like this. And many of the hidden ones, many of the master, the grand master teachers and mystics and healers who have the medicine for us to make us better, to heal us, to, 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 to set us free, to bring this world back into alignment, into the place where it needs to be. They're going back, they're hiding. Not hiding because they're afraid. Hiding because, first of all, what they, what they have is not being valued. Don't cast your pearls before the swine. They reached out to me. I literally, I was like, what? People don't realize that at this time right now on planet Earth, we need these people, we need these, this medicine, we need these teachings, we need the plants. And the plants have the secrets, the plants have the knowledge, the plants have the, the codes for us to be set free. And Demons moving through people are keeping it away from those who need it. Now, this person isn't the only one that I know who has experienced this. I know very powerful, public, pure of heart, masters, grandmaster teachers, I mean, some of them come in and out of form, literally. They literally come in and out of form. That's how advanced they are. They've been public for a while. And this year I saw three of them, three of them declare on social media that they were retreating from the public eye because of the onslaught the nastiness, the horrificness, the people who don't even care about this level of, of codes and knowledge and information and medicine and plants that's going to help. So they, they pull back the energy. Most of those who have the real goods that we need have been hidden for a long time. There are many who've been up in the mountains, mountains that people don't even know about, have never even been discovered. Indigenous who have the light, the illumination, the, the, what we need and, uh, and the roots, the leaves, the barks, the seeds, the petals that can heal us, that can heal us. I mean, these people are li living for, for years, beyond 80, beyond 100. These people are living for years, vibrant health.
and they're hiding. They, I mean, they don't want to come down. Some of them do. Some of them at this calling because the way most of, especially Western society, and it's destroying the the earth and bringing it out of balance, they had representatives come down to find out what's going on and to help bring balance. So I was really disturbed when I got these messages because I'm like, ha, I have to, now I got to go heal. I got to go help heal, heal the healer. Because they you know, I've been out here. I've been out here. I know, I know the stuff that comes against people who are bringing the purity of the message, who are bringing the medicine, who are helping to set the captives free, freeing the mind, healing the body, freeing the soul, casting out demons. I've been out there. I've hid many years. But right now, God's got me out in front, but it won't be forever. And then, what, then what's left? As we are co-creating this new earth or the second earth or this golden age or whatever we want to call it, as we're doing that, we need these codes to be activated. We need the medicine. We need the teachings. We need the songs of light. We need the words of light. We need the colors that ha we haven't even seen yet of light that some of us have to bring. And, and then, you know, we bring it and then people want to attack. It's like they're out of their mind or they're filled with demons. I'm sorry, I'm just telling it how it is because I'm really pissed about this. I'm hurt that this has happened to such a pure, pure person. And I'm pissed. So, we can do better. And I know that if you're listening to me, it's not you. However, it could be. It could be one of us who doesn't understand. We don't have the capacity to understand the, the illumination, we can't even control, we can't even hold it. We can't even hold that pure light. Hi, Stacy Oliver, thank you. We cannot even hold the pure light, we go off the wall. And, and I'm... There are dimensions of light that want to come down to us, through us, and as us to activate those codes so that we can be set free and elevate to those higher frequencies to do what we got to do and be who we're going to be. Not only for our own betterment, betterment, but the betterment of your family, the communities, and the world, and the universe. And because we don't understand it, we don't have the, we don't even have the capacity to understand it. We judge it and judgment is a really, really strong negative force or if we're jealous of it. There's a lot of healers uh, and curanderas and shamans and all of that who are very jealous. You know, they're jealous of the other. Then they start throwing, <laughs> throwing negativity. Even jealousy, a jealous thought is negative. And in these days, and especially if we're on this path, it's so, uh, such a powerful force, the judgment, the negativity, the, the criticism, the, the envy. We gotta do better. These Grand master teachers, these potent healers, these curanderos, curanderas, and shamans who've got who the real deal, they should never be suffering for lack, and they should be highly respected. And when they come out to present, 
and give you pearls of wisdom and knowledge and their words be, can activate when the words can literally just by spoken word or spoken song uh, the brilliance of their beingness can change you what what we can do the best response is to like oh shoot i'm in the presence of a god being just like me right i'm in the presence of a god being just like me and let me respect humble myself and receive whatever medicine they are bringing let me open up the way for them let me make sure they are more than okay so that they don't have to go back into their hidden place. And then we, what are we going to do? I, mean, I had somebody the other day say to me, oh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to. I work a lot with traditional medicine. And I'm here in Oaxaca and there's a lot of it here. And I have a high respect for the plants. Marigolds, vaparu, that's good for the lungs. Um, I mean, uh, yet I'm amargo. I have I have plants for the kidneys. I have plants for parasites. I mean, what plants are innocent? They have high innocent potent codes, knowledge, and information. And a person said to me, "Well, I don't want to take any of that, you know, because you know, whatever, whatever, whatever." They rather go take a chemical pill that's controlling their mind and their body than to take the purity of the plants that grow out of the great, the belly of the great mother. I don't understand it. And then these same people will come against someone like me, someone like you. Really? Really? The time of tormenting and torturing and crucifying and burning at the stakes, the medicine women and this medicine men, it's done. We're not doing that again. But we are through words, through social media, through exclusion, through, through wielding the same elementals, not for the good, but for the bad. The same elementals. Because when we can wield the elementals, that's the magic, right? The sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the, the, the air, the fire, the water, the akash, the plants, the rocks, the crystals. There's so many, so many. And the beings of light that are on the other side that help us. And then there's, there's beings of dark on the other side that hinder us. When we can do that for the good, wow, wow, wow. But there are people who are doing it for the bad, for the negative. What, what I'm seeing is that there are those who think they are so conscious and so awake and so aware and so right and so righteous, they are not aware that they're being used by demons. And I'm saying that where D-E-M-O-N-S, they're not aware. And then they come against the, 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 the medicine that's going to help set people free. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Stop harassing the children and stop harassing the people who are in service to the light. So, when I, and I'm not complete talking to and helping my person, Arlene is saying, some are so caught up in doctrines that they don't recognize the, the light. I'm so sorry that that happened to them. I think 
Master Gibson said that it won't be until after we have left this dimension, their ascendants will look back and say, how could our ancestors not recognize the light? Well, since you're mentioning Master Gibson and Master Asadia, who I have high regard from and I consider them uh, my teachers, Master Gibson and Master Asadia, and if you don't know who they are, go to tybro.com. They're very, very, very advanced souls here on planet earth bringing and creating from the very advanced spiritual tools and some of them are free and some of them so there's all different degrees everything from free all the way up to high value just like i do well i noticed like at the beginning of this year he was one of them who said like, I noticed that he was, like, backing off from the public eye. And I can't remember if he said something or what it was. I mean, really? There was a time we could have access. But I know they've come under some stuff. They've got powerful protection and spiritual tools. It's not about them... Uh, being afraid or hiding because somebody says something bad about them. No, it's about removing, like you don't cast your pearls before the swine. There's two others. One of my grandmaster teachers, Lutian Dashi, I've spoken about him once before. He goes in and out of form. I sat with him. I never knew him. I didn't know him. I was invited to sit with him for a week. And whoa, for a week with a physical person who can be in several places in physical form at the same time, go in and out of form. I can't find him now. No one can find him. Can't find him on social media, nothing. He's, he's in different realms now. And so we miss out. Now, I'm not missing out because when they come around me, I'm like soaking it in. I'm taking it in as much as I can handle. As much light and information I can handle because I know that they are bringing the pearls that's going to activate my own codes of remembrance and my divinity. So the second part of my message is don't back down from bullies. Now, this person wasn't backing down from bullies. This person was basically more upset about the disregard for the, 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 the pearls, the medicine, the, 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 the teachings. And, and yes, they are one of those innocent ones, very humble and pure, you know, ha haven't been out much in the world. And, you know, that affects, you know, a person's physical body and emotions as well. But they were more, they were more disturbed about the total disrespect for the gift. So they're not backing down from bullies. But I want to say to all of us, because I have in the past backed down from bullies. I have not come out fully into who I am and what I can bring until this year because of bullies. But that doesn't work anymore because I'm not afraid of death. If somebody tries to ruin my reputation, it's, it's God's reputation. It's the reputation of the goddess. I'm only her servant. But bullies can keep us from our full expressed self, if we allow them. So they got a big mouth, and especially on social media, and especially in their little secret circles, gossip, 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 judgment, criticism, and then boom, they say their thing and then they go hide. 
And then, you know, we have to recuperate from that unless we're totally detached. Right now I'm like totally detached and I know how to shut them down <laughs> quickly. Very quickly, I shut them down. But don't, for you who don't, haven't got that yet, for you who were bullied by your parents, bullied by your relatives, bullied by the church, bullied by teachers, bullied by your friends, I mean, bullying, bullied online, bully, bullied by your coworkers, bullied by your, who you thought were your allies, bullied by unseen forces, because that could happen as well. You could get bullied, you know, in the middle of the night. Don't back down. You want to take back what's yours. You want to receive what you're supposed to receive. Do not back down and be your most incredible, magnificent self that you have been called to be here on planet earth right now, because we need you on board. And if you're backing down, if you back down, your children learn to back down. And now you've got a whole family in the lineage of victims who back down. They're not taking what's theirs. Being humble pie, because someone taught you to be humble pie. Forget that. Forget that. Don't back down. Don't back down from bullies. You got to use some wisdom, okay? There, there, there's ways of coaching your words that boom! They won't mess with you anymore. I have a friend who is a very, very powerful woman, very wealthy woman, uh, very owns massive amount of land. She's bold as heck. And she doesn't tell all her story. But this is this is how bullies do. People get jealous because you're successful or you have, you have influence. And then she's had her employees try to rip her off. She's been assaulted. She had someone pulled a gun on her. Someone blew up her car. I'm not lying. This is the truth. She doesn't back down. She has to recover from a lot of all of that. But she's not backing down from the bullies because she knows she has a purpose. She's doing great work with the land. She's feeding people. She's creating a whole new paradigm. If you back down from a bully that could continue to bully you, And then they'll bully you, then bully your friends, and now they're blackmailing, they're doing extortion, all kinds of stuff, nasty stuff. Don't back down, because once you back down, now your forces, your, your whole energetic field is compromised. Now, those of us who love to be in the love and light circle, um, continue to stay there, continue to, to cultivate your, your light, because we need that. And also realize that the times that we're in right now, the times we're in right now, I can't tell you everything I know and that I see right now in this little message, but you know, we're in, we got to be careful because, you know, don't get distracted. Stay connected to the earth. I love Stu. I, I'm not sure if you're still on. I love that you're in Costa Rica and that you are you found your place. Because if you're living la vida pura, and so are you, Rebecca. You know, in a land that allows you to cultivate your gifts, gives you strength. You know, when you're connected to the land, you get a lot of strength, then you're in a good place. Now continue to cultivate that, but don't let bullies, don't back down from the bullies. 
I did. I've, I've, I've allowed <laughs> a lot of bullies to bully me. But guess what? There's no more of that. There's no more of that. It's a lot of things that I'm reclaiming. In March, I have another incredible <laughs> opening. I keep getting more and more openings, more and more initiations. Esta es una tierra muy especial. That's Rebecca. Aure in Costa Rica, my beautiful sister. So wherever you are in the world, and if you're listening to this message because I happen to be on and I'm not on that often these days, that means that you are on that path. You're on a higher path. You're on a path of greater openings. You're in a path of they call ascension. You're in this path of enlightenment. The light in you is, is coming out more, right? The light in you is being revealed more. Your eyes, your eyes are opening to the greater truth of who you are and what, what ways that you can manipulate the elements and create the reality that you choose to create here on planet Earth. And I want to just say one more last thing here, um, then I'll wrap it up. I had a powerful experience last night. Like my initiations and things are happening very, very quickly. And in the middle of the quiero también, Rebecca, in the middle of the night, and that's when my things happen. Um, when I woke up at 1.30, I did a practice to that practice, uh, which is called quantum jumping. And timeline jumping, quantum jumping, leap, leaping time. And it's a powerful way to, uh, to, to, to master the mind, but also to create different realities the reality that you choose to create. It's very, very, very potent. And as I was doing this last night, I said, okay, let me, let me practice this because, oh, Barbara, como esta? I can't wait for you to come this month. As I was doing this quantum jumping, leaping time meditation, uh, 1.30 in the morning, boom, I, I again, uh, went into this other realm and but it was like because there's there's realms and then there's realms and realms and realms and realms and as you you do these exercises as you do these meditations the realms expand and as you clear yourself as you become more of a pure vessel and you clear the the, the nasties <laughs> that that are in us that have been placed in us epigenetically and with programs and just by family and culture and religion, you clear that stuff and you forgive, then all of a sudden there's like all that light that's in you. There it is. And then we have greater access. We have greater access. And then these beings of light that have been there all along wanting to bless you and communicate with you, now you have access. So last night as I was doing this uh, meditation at this greater access. I, for the first time, spontaneously had access to the Akashic field, the, the field of all recorded history, all recorded everything, past, present, and future. And I was like, wow. And then I can see a version of myself. And this version actually was white, but not white like we know it, like a white that is actually light, like with white light. 
and my hair was white and long and wavy and everything I wore was white and fluid and, and um, very potent, powerful light. And I had access to this other realm and oh my gosh. And when I completed that meditation, I um, was listening to Dr. Pillai's mantras, and, which by the way, Dr. Pillai, if you don't know him, drpillai.com. His words, his meditations, his chants, his mantras, pure light changes you. So I'm listening, you know, I'm like, okay, now that I'm done, let me, you know, listen to this and go to sleep. I went into a bliss. I went into a bliss. And then I realized that I had access. Hola, Shakti Devi. Como estas? It's good to see you. Shakti Devi is one of my sisters and one of the great supporters and curriculum developers for Dr. Pillai. I went into this bliss. I was like, I could hear myself, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I could hear the other side of myself saying, post this on Facebook. Bien, y tú? Oh man, I'm doing really awesome. Uh, listen to the rest of this, uh, Shakti. And I could, and I was like, forget about Facebook, stay in the bliss, there's something here. And so I, I did, I did. And I'm still there. Even, even with me being sad and upset because this thing happened to this very pure, pure person, and uh, I'm still there. That, it's that bliss, right? It's, I'm like, wow, this is amazing, right? It's like you access that place and it was spontaneous. I see those hearts, thank you. And it was like the spontaneous bubble of bliss. And not even a bubble. It was like I had access this field of light that allowed me to feel so good and still feeling good, full of light, light, light. So I'm just sharing this with you to, you know, number one, don't cast your pearls before the swine. Don't cast your pearl before the swine. And when you are in the presence of a true, humble teacher, healer, take advantage of it because they won't be around forever. They, they might just transition into light or they might transition another way or they just might go hide back, hide back in the mountains. You won't see them on social media anymore. Hola, mi amigo, maestro Lucho. You might, you won't see them anymore. Um, take advantage of the medicine that comes to you, la medicina. Sagrada, take advantage because things are changing and we need everybody on board. And, you know, when these true teachers and true healers come, respect them. Respect them. Honor them. Make sure they're okay. Make sure that, they, that they're well respected. Speaking of Dr. Pillai, because, you know, I live here in Mexico. I was told by Swamini Vali, those of you who know Dr. Pillai from India, that when he, he came to Mexico, I don't know when that was, I wasn't here when he came. When he came to Mexico, all these people came to greet him, dressed in white. 
dressed in white. What is the website of that healer again? I'll give that to you, Jennifer. Dressed in white. All these Spanish people, te queda hermosa el color de, huh? <laughs> oh, that's Maestro Lucho Banduris. He's he gifted me this. The ayahuasca is an initiation I received from the plant medicine. They all came out. Lily sat under his teachings. I don't know who did the translation for him, but they recognized that there was a holy sacred man in their presence. Don't catch this is pearls before the swine. When a, when a person of great humility who is bringing you the medicine, bringing you the teachings, bringing you the wisdom, and you know they're humble, because hum humility is my first <laughs> guideline, receive from them. Make sure they're okay. Take care of them. Because Every word they say, just you being in their presence is going to elevate you. It's going to set you free. You're going to get healed just by being there. And number two, don't back down from bullies. When bullies try to stop your work, stop what you're supposed to do, stop you from receiving what you're supposed to get, that it's rightfully yours, don't back down. If you need to recuperate, recuperate, and then go get what's yours. Don't back down from bullies. And my last thing. We have the ability to access this Akashic field. This Akashic, this, this, this other field. This other, it's, it's, Yes, it's a dimension, but it's 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 a it's a place that has a lot of information, past, present, future, multiple worlds and dimensions. We have the ability to experience that. And I want to let you know that if you would like to experience 30 minutes of an Akashic quote unquote, reading from me now that I have access to it. It's very pure, it's very pristine. Please reach out. I have a special offer for five people. Send me a message in my, in my message box. And we will access that realm together and you'll have access to the purity of that energy that will change you, change you, change you, change you change you. Blessings to you. Thank you, Arlene. I love you. I'm getting ready to get off. Jennifer, I mentioned drpilai.com. D-R-P-I-L-L-A-I.com. He's been my main teacher for the last seven years. It's the reason why I'm doing so well and prospering. And then there's um, Tybro, T-Y-B-R-O dot com. If someone can type these in the comments, that's Master Gibson and Master Asaria. Very advanced souls, spiritual tools, wisdom, lots of writing, books. And they've also been very important teachers in my life about the same amount of time. Actually, no, with them since 2011. I bless you all. Blessings and blessings and blessings and blessings and blessings, blessings. Uh, Maestro Lucho, bendiciones, muchos bendiciones, muchos, muchos, muchísimas bendiciones, muchísimas, 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 muchas bendiciones. Many blessings to you all. Ciao. Thank you, Shakti Devi.